everybody. My name is Chris, and welcome to, I think, which is a highly requested review episode. So, oh, God. So, today, we're going to be taking a look at a, a figure that I thought looked pretty, pretty interesting. Ding. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Got the, the X-Bots figure. Now, what is it? Now, what is the X-Bots? Basically, they're just inspired from the Pacific Rim robots, which I don't really care. Because I, I haven't really seen Pacific Rim. Um, now, I don't really have its packaging to show off. But, yeah. Um... I mean, for the people who are watching my video videos, I want to say thank you. If you do appreciate it, ate it, ate it. So, uh, uh, shout out Tam go, go, go and shout out to uh, Mitch Santone if you want to check out his channel for Transformers reviews. And yeah, so um, I'm not gonna review the. Other one that I have, I'm just gonna review this guy in this video. So, yeah, my Dollar General is now packed with them. Now there are two ways you can get these guys. There's this version, which is the Dollar General exclusive, and there's the Xbox Commander series, which I think the Commanders are a lot more hollow in their parts, parts, and yeah. Uh, sorry over my voice. I'm kind of stuffed up in my nose. But, uh, uh, just for comparison. Hold on, let me go grab a quick comparison. Here he is with a, uh, with Transformers robots in disguise one step. Bumblebee. Or just Bumblebee. In particular. As you can see, there he now he scales, um, now if you know the x and you do happen to own some of them, they do compact with, um, with two weapons, mine, um, came with these two guns that are the same mold, so, uh, they're not that bad, I mean, I did place one of these guns over one of my lights, and I did see hollowness right here. I mean, yes, they are a very, very nice mold for a gun. No paint on it, though, but I, that doesn't really matter, because I, I love these figures. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um... Now how now how these guys are is that they have this gimmick which is labeled on their packaging which they have the ability to switch mix and match parts <sighs> excuse me and that's where his articulation comes in it does have he's full of ball joints everything is on a ball joint so yeah you can get a nice degree of bend with everything so yeah, even his uh, shoulder weapons are on a ball joint. And uh, close on the head sculpt right there. I think that head sculpt is very, very nice. For this figure. It's got a nice dark red paint right there. It's kind of makes it look purple and I'm a fan of purple. But yeah. So yeah, he can hold his guns pretty securely. I mean, they're pretty well done and secure. And uh, so far as paint apps go, uh, I kind of got a little messed up paint on these arms, but that's all right. Um, here is his chest piece. Now basically, they're just like the same exact figure, except with new head sculpts and new shoulder cannons, so, I mean, if you want better ones, I recommend picking up the, uh, Commander series. 
Give me a second. Alright, I'm back. Sorry, I might have to do a little bit of editing this video, but, uh, yeah, I mean, his head is a nice, has a nice bend to it. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, let him just pop off so you can mix and match him like uh, hero mashers, but that's mostly not what these guys are for, at least in my opinion. So, yeah, I mean, because all there is to talk about this figure, I mean, the fact that they don't come with bios and they don't have names, so. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not gonna make up names. I'm just gonna, you know, sack spot. So yeah, do I recommend you pick up these guys? Of course, of course. If you do love doll Dollar General toys, which I'm a big fan of, fan of, and um. What are you doing, Jazz? Time to kill some dude. I did it! God dang it, Jazz. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen Jazz in a long time. But anyway, yes, I just want to say. But yes, I do want to say. Now. When these guys originally released, I didn't want to bother spending the money to get them pre-ordered. Because when they originally released, they were ten dollars to get them get them pre-ordered, and they didn't look that good at the time. But I uh, have it in my hand, pretty good. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, check out my channel for more review videos and gameplay. Plays Asia Jack. I got them go 316. Team check out Mitch Santa. Tona, all of those guys. Guys who are link that you see in the description. And check them out. And I think that is pretty much all to, there is to say for this figure. So, there is, there is the Expo. Bots figure. Figure and this. And this is Nemesis Prime 2016. Ian say, saying, remember, remember, for that you can always be awesome if you know what you're doing, doing. So stay awesome, awesome. And for MGO purposes, purposes, if you are subscribed to me and if you're watching me, you better be geek and be a, be proud. Out here's a palm in your face. I hope you like that. But anyways, yeah. So thank you all for watching. Watching. Peace.